This video deals with accounting for investments that represent less than 20% of the outstanding shares of, a, of an organization. Here's the problem we're going to work through, and this first video will walk you through acquiring um, the stock. <coughs> so if you haven't read through this already, I would suggest you go through and try the problem prior to viewing this video. So this video will simply deal with the acquisition of the outstanding stock. The problem states that we're Sparky Corporation and we're investing in Hulu Corporation and so we are going to invest cash and in exchange get equity or common stock from Hulu Corporation. So we need to record the acquisition of that stock. So first we need to value what is the amount of cash that Sparky Corporation is going to um, use. The problem tells us the price per share is $28.90 and the shares purchased by Sparky Corporation are 3000 So the total amount paid for the stock is $86,700. However, we're also told there are commission fees of $300. And so the total um, cost to Sparky Corporation is $87,000. And we always record the acquisition at the historical cost, which here represents $80,000, $87,000. So our stock investment increases by $87,000, and our cash decreases by $87,000, which you can see fills in part of the journal entry for me. So S Sparky Corporation debits stock investment and credits cash and this is for the acquisition of the stock. Now notice also in the problem that the outstanding shares are 100,000. Our, our portion of that is 3,000. So our total ownership <coughs> is 3%. And so this transaction represents the first category we talked about of stock ownership which is less than 20%. So that's it for the acquisition of the stock. 